Hi, I'm Santosh Kesri. I'm one of the founders of Pacific Neuroscience Institute. So the current standard of care for brain cancer is surgery followed by radiation and chemotherapy. And while it is very helpful for some patients, it has many shortcomings and can reduce survival and quality of life. And many drugs that we try after the standard of care don't seem to work very well. And so our simple idea is let's try these drugs earlier on in the disease journey so that we can increase the chance of response to these novel drugs that are helping many other cancer patients. And really the goal is fully in alignment with the cancer moonshot. We want to improve survival in deadly glioblastoma and maintain their quality of life, if not improve it, by controlling the disease with this newer approaches. Some of the research that we're doing is really incorporating targeted therapy and immunotherapy in the beginning of the diagnosis, at the point of surgery, or even before surgery. We call this the PIN approach, precision immunotherapy in the neoadjuvant setting. And by doing it early, when the immune system is stronger, we think we can get a bigger effect than waiting till after radiation and chemo where the immune system is weakened by those treatments. In our initial study of using immunotherapy in glioblastoma patients that are newly diagnosed, we saw that some patients had improved survival and ability to avoid radiation for several years. This is in many ways not new because in other cancers from breast cancer, lung cancer, and many other cancers, by incorporating new drugs from immunotherapy to targeted therapy at the beginning of the disease, the outcomes are much better. It's clear that even though under the microscope, a patient's tumor is called glioblastoma, the reality is every patient's tumor was very different when you look at the molecular genetic footprint. They have different mutations. So our goal is really to provide that precision therapies for each patient. While this initial clinical trial showed that using immunotherapy, we can make it work in a subset of patients, we learned that there are markers in each patient of who responded, who didn't respond. We are planning a next generation of clinical trials where we take those markers into account at the time of diagnosis and do a personalized treatment approach. This obviously requires a lot of effort from not only the clinical team, but the research team to provide this information in real time so that we can really help patients from the beginning of their diagnosis. I think what we've innovated here at Pacific Neuroscience Institute will really gain traction uh, across the nation. And so I'm increasingly trying to figure out how to spread this at a more national level with collaborations with other institutions. Incorporating new drugs earlier in the disease is really the key and that's what the PIN approach is, where we incorporate immunotherapy and target therapy at the beginning of the disease diagnosis. Fundamentally, the moonshot is really to improve survival and quality of life.